most people associate giftedness with this as a static phenomenon, that you're born gifted and you remain gifted no matter what happens. And according to psychological science, we know now that giftedness, in fact, has to be developed. It's developed from the outside, from the society, from educators, parents, who provide opportunities to young people. But just as important is that it has to be developed by the young person, him or herself. And that person has to be committed to something which requires a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of discipline. It also requires that they grab opportunities. And some young people are offered opportunities, but they don't take them. The other thing that we know from psychological science is because it's a developmental process, certain variables are more important in the beginning and some later on. The talent development perspective is different and says if there is a psychological profile of high achievers, it's not because it's inherent in being gifted. It's because it's a function of trying to strive for a level of excellence or achievement that most people don't strive for, and perhaps in environments that are not particularly supportive. A lot of the work that's been done is very rigorous, and it's been done by psychologists, uh, but a lot of it is retrospective. So we start with famous, eminent people and we reflect back on what happened to them to make that work. What we need is a lot more prospective studies, longitudinal studies of potential talent, watching how they develop. And also we'll, what we need to know is exactly what are the first signs of talent in a particular domain. We don't have enough research. We really do not know how ideally to develop these kids to their maximum potential. Do gifted, are gifted kids maximizing their working memory? Are they maximizing their executive functioning? Are gifted kids, do they, are they strong in self-efficacy? We don't know the answers to so many questions. There are just a lot of questions we don't have answers to. Psychological science informs us about many aspects of that theory of talent development that would give us a better approach to identifying and nurturing talent in children across the lifespan. If we could find a way, and this is where psychological science can help us, to embody that in school practice. There's been a lot of excellent research in the music psychology and sports psychology that could inform us. So what we had a chance to do for this paper, which was great fun, was to delve into that literature and find just completely new ways to think about um, what we could do for, for academically talented kids. The central education of these performance domains is about commitment, practice, discipline, and mental skills, being tough. Um, academically talented students, except for a small minority, are not challenged in school and so they don't ever have an experience of commitment, practice, and discipline. This is where psychological science is so important because what it suggests to us is that getting to those highest levels is less about ability and more about the psychological supports and having an identity as an eminent producer and that's why we need to be more attentive Acceleration is the one practice that the field can point to that's especially appropriate for gifted kids. Um, and that and acceleration is not a singular concept. Acceleration includes things like um, entering school early. It includes early access to high school classes, early entrance into college. In order to have a really comprehensive talent development program, we know that schools could not possibly provide everything that a talented young person needs. And even an excellent school program, a top everything program, needs to be supported with out of school activities. Having those kids identify their preferences early on. You know, so I'm, I, I like physics. 
So that means I can do dedicated physics while I do my other subjects. Much as a college student athlete has to do dedicated practice to football or basketball while they do their other subjects. Giving dedicated coaching, um, teaching, specialized teaching, working with the best of the teachers and so forth, all of those kinds of things are things that we can do. The role of the school is particularly important for, for students from um, poor backgrounds, from minority backgrounds, who may come from homes that don't have as much what we, of what we call educational capital in, in, in research. That is, there may be fewer books in the household. The parents want to help their kids, but they may be working longer hours and have less um, they may not have a college degree and so forth. And so therefore, these kids are coming into schools with less than their peers. And so the role of the school then is not to dismiss what they're bringing with. It's to make, take what they're bringing and strengthen it by making relevant, making it relevant to their lives. When we write a paper, we come up with an idea that's novel and we submit it for publication. It often gets knocked down. <laughs> Do you then walk away with your tail between your legs or do you say, no, I'm going to another journal? No, they didn't understand. I'm going back to them and explaining it more clearly. That that's an important aspect, this how do you deal with failure, how do you deal with setback, how do you deal with rejection? Those are important aspects about moving forward and anybody who's been successful across any domain has to learn how to do that. This is a very important uh, challenge that we're trying to solve an enormous number of social problems, health problems, even aesthetic problems, making our life more beautiful. And our academic students and their artistic colleagues are the ones who can help us to live a highly enriched lives, not only satisfying their own creative urges, but also making our lives better. And by not supporting their development, we're um, undermining the possibility of solving financial problems, solving health problems, solving social problems, and solving educational problems. Mm -hmm.